Hey everybody, welcome to Wednesday Night Live. It's Hiskey Vita Medicine. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I'm Dr. Duncan. I'm joined by Ron Mattel. And uh, again, we're here at Siski Vita Medicine. Um, I'm really excited about 2018. I think it's going to be an amazing year. I think it's a great year to be optimistic. Yes. Um, and to sort of bring that new energy into something that you're um, really interested in, um, setting a, a really good intention for the new year. Um, Siski Vita Medicine is a direct care clinic where um, we give you the option to become a member of ours. And that membership allows you to gain unrestricted access to myself and Ron's services. Um, Ron's a nutritional and lifestyle coach. Um, he's also in, into anthroposophy. Um, I'm a naturopathic physician. I like to work on foundational health issues. Um, I'm passionate about so many different things. And you can find a little bit uh, more about, find out a little bit more about us on our website, siskyvitamedicine.com. Um, we have a few things going on here in the new year. Um, one is that you have a class coming up soon, January 8th. January 8th, starting this mo next Monday, not this Monday because that was a couple days ago, or yesterday. Time. <laughs> Time. Time. Interesting Ooh. concept. Yes, right? it is. Yes. Law of nature. Um, so, starting next Monday, we have the Life Mastery Series. This is going to be the first in a series. It's a four-week course where we will be weaving together uh, information about the physiology um, uh, and some deeper understandings of the physiology uh, with Kundalini Yoga. So uh, what we'll be doing is I'll be teaching a little bit about the physiology. Each month has a new theme and this, this month's theme is the sensory system. So I'll take you on a little journey into your senses Give you a little education about that and then we'll do a kundalini yoga practice to have an embodied experience of those senses so yeah. that starts on monday the 8th that and i think that's so brilliant you know i keep saying this over and over again <laughs> you get to learn about something and then you get to experience it physically so it's a mental and mo it's sort of mental and emotional and mm -hmm. physical all wrapped mm -hmm. in one and i think that's so amazing that you get to teach this life mastery series mm -hmm. and you're wrapping all that in together and you know and actually experiencing that it's like a hands-on class it is it is and and the goal really is that you know we use life mastery which can be a little cliche it seems but it's true so we have the capacity to develop uh, faculties to um, navigate our life at to the highest capacity possible and that's really what this course is going to be offering you. So yeah, this is a, not that you're going to become, you know, 100% master of your life in one month. If you do, please let me know. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Because <laughs> I would enjoy yeah. hearing that and learning how you did that. Yeah. <laughs> so, but um, but we'll, but it's certainly a way to gain a deeper understanding of yourself and how to really um, um, uh, navigate your life to the greatest degree possible. That's what this is really about. You know, I remember sitting down and, and uh, brainstorming this this idea with you and um, Emily and Lindsay, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, we were sort of wondering, you know, what to call the class. And life mastery came up, mm -hmm. and it was it was because, you know, we we all experience life differently. We all have a different lens through which we see our our surroundings, our situations, and I think that. The, the class is going to provide you with the tools you need to sort of navigate your life much more, um, being much more aware mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, with purpose mm -hmm. and not letting somebody else take the wheel and steer your right. life, right? So right. You, you're going to get the skills that you need to take your life in the direction that you see fit. That's right, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Very well put. Yes. Very well and, put. And life, and I think one of the things that keeps coming up to me is that life is about perception and how we perceive our our environment, our food, our relationships with people, with ourselves, with food, with finances, mm -hmm. with with so many different things. That's so, right. and I think that this course is so perfectly timed for the new year mm -hmm. because it's going to give you those insights and help you flush out um, a better understanding of yourself so that all of those things, all those perceptions that you have mm -hmm. 
can be optimized. And you can right. come at that from a very different perspective. And so that way you're not creating a bunch of undue stress and turmoil in your life that really takes a lot of time. And, and it takes energy. so much time and energy. And emotion. And boy, where does that lead you? It leads to like um, poor eating habits, mm -hmm. poor exercise habits. Poor decision making. Poor, um, you know, talking to yourself negatively. Yes. I mean, so many different things that um, that really imp that have a, a really lasting impact on your life, and so this course is going to be, I think, um, very uh, instrumental. And I'm so happy that, that you guys are going to be offering that here at Siskiyou, and I'm really excited um, for all the members and and all the non-members that are going to be joining. Yeah, and please do if this interests you. Please sign up now. We have limited space available. We only have a few spots left. So uh, now is the time to get in. Yeah, for sure. get it done. If you're if you're on the fence about about taking this class, please you know don't be. You're you're gonna regret not not getting in and getting this class in your yeah. belt. Yeah, guarantee it will be a life changer yeah. for sure. So you know it's always interesting. This is this time of year is always interesting because a lot of people will um, make New Year's resolutions. Yes. Right yes. and. How big of a fan are you of New Year's resolutions? You know, I, I don't, I'm not, a, I'm not a huge fan of them. Mm -hmm. I do respect them and I think that it's yeah. a good time, it's a good starting place mm -hmm. um, to quantify your life in some way. Um, but I, I, I saw something on, on my Twitter feed uh, recently where it's like, you know, how many resolutions have been broken already? I, I didn't think that was a very positive post, but it was something that was trending. It was kind of funny. Fairly realistic. You know, we're, we've all been there. We've all said, you know, this is going to be my last something. and Or, you know, people that smoke, this is my last cigarette right after you've had a cigarette, right? Not No more. You know, a day later, you might be smoking a cigarette again. And, it, and it's difficult. The addictions mm -hmm. and, and habits that we get into are very difficult to break. And... It sort of um, takes a little bit of planning mm -hmm. and forgiveness mm -hmm. and humility and all that to make a goal um, achievable yes. and to attain the goal, right? Right. Yeah. So we made a list of things that maybe can help you with achieving your um, New Year's resolutions or your resolutions for this new year. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so um, on, on our list, number one, it says... Don't believe everything you think, especially about yourself. Can you can you expand on that a little bit for us, Ron? I I love that. Uh, I, I wrote that. I will take ownership of that because <laughs> I think I, I you know I, that goes for me too, right? So this is for all of us. Um, uh, don't believe everything. Don't believe everything you think, especially about yourself. We tend to be our own worst critics, right? And we usually tend to have a more negative self-image uh, than how people actually perceive us. Mm -hmm. And we can also be our own worst critics, right? That's, mm -hmm. that's usually a common experience. And so here we are, we're going into a new year, it's 2018. This, you know, many times people set up, as you said, New Year's resolutions, or they've made some sort of commitment to themselves. Um, and, uh, but, as we were talking earlier with perception, the power of perception, and this is where really, in my opinion, mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Duncan, mm -hmm. is this is where disease begins, mm. is in consciousness, it's in, it's in our thinking life, it's in our feeling life. So um, I really find it very important to be really radically open to perceiving yourself anew and perceiving life new, and uh, and shifting our thinking. There's a term called metanoia, and it means to change your thinking. So anytime you're gonna make a health change, or any kind of radical change in your life, it usually first and foremost requires the capacity to change one's thinking, mm -hmm. which means we cannot be married to the thoughts we have. Mm -hmm. We have to be able to grasp them and release them. And that's really what don't believe everything you think is about. Be open to shifting your thinking, change the way you think about things, change the way you perceive things, because we know scientifically that our environment in combination with our perception of our environment will engage en engineering genes to rewrite entire sections of genetic code. So, 
Be open to changing your thinking. Yeah. I think that's I think that's really a a poignant point, and I think that's one of the most um, important points that you can make going into the new year. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we keep going back to this perception thing and, and environment, and you know, how are you relating to your environment is going to to um, dictate what sort of hormones are released into your bloodstream, how well you're digesting your food. Um, what kind of conversations you're having with yourself, you know, so on and so forth. So I think that that's a really, really good um, point to make. And I'm so glad that you brought that up. Thank you. Yeah, that's a really good one. Yeah, I think all change has to start there. All change has to start there. And and I totally agree. I totally agree. (laughs) So number two on the list, make 1% change every day. Now, this point sort of goes back to what I was saying about setting yourself up for success mm-hmm. and to realize that you're you cannot expect yourself and some people will do this but you cannot expect yourself to make a huge change in your life immediately and then maintain that change and be successful a hundred percent of the time you know I've, you hear stories about people going cold turkey or they had some experience in life that really that from one day to the next they made a radical change and mm-hmm. they shifted their life mm-hmm. that's fabulous but if it's something like, um, you know, something in your life that's been nagging you for a while and you've been trying and trying and trying, be good to yourself. Forgive yourself. Make a little bit of change every day, but be true to that change, right? So be honest with yourself, mm. one thing, and know, like, did I really did I really make an effort to change my life today? Um, but, but, it, but don't go and expect so much out of you that if you can't achieve um, that change, you know, you don't want to leave yourself feeling down and depressed right. and feeling as a failure. That's not going to be helpful at all. So just be, be, be forgiving mm-hmm. and just try for a little bit each day, just a little bit, but set yourself up for success. Right. Right. You know. Big change happens. It's rare. Mm-hmm. Big change can happen and can stick. It's, but it's rare. But if you make 1% change every day, and here's your image right here. So if you make 1% change every day, and this is like a, let's just say this is a big tanker ship, you know, and you make 1% change each day, that over time, you're gradually going to do a 180. Mm -hmm. You can turn your life around gradually. It doesn't have to be an event. It's a process. And by making 1% change every day, you will make great change over your lifetime. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. Well put. Thank you. All right, what's next on our list? Number three, we have eat a rainbow of colors and increase your food diversity. Boy, who wrote that one? Oh, man. <laughs> it sounds like something a nutritionist would write. <laughs> it sounds so nutritionist guy wrote <laughs> that one. All right, why? I hope, real briefly, because the colors are where the antioxidants are. That's where the really awesome phytonutrients are that our body thrives on. And by eating a rainbow of colors, you will increase your food diversity, which is one of the biggest issues uh, with our food supply today. Mm -hmm. If you look at our food supply, we have lost close to 75% of the genetic diversity. Wow. All right? It's a massive loss. Um, So we eat a fraction of what our ancestors used to eat. Our Paleolithic hunter-gatherer ancestors would eat on average 100 to 300 different plants for food and medicine today, right? Amazing. Incredible. Incredible. Some estimates go as high as 600. Could you imagine knowing 600 different plants that you could use for food and medicine that were around you? Um, Today, two thirds of the world's food supply comes from just three foods, rice, wheat, and corn, all of which are calorie dense and nutrient poor. Mm -hmm. I think that's a super important point. You know, new, uh, calorie dense, nutrient poor. We talk, I talk a lot about that with patients who have uh, metabolic syndrome or diabetes and mm-hmm. you know talking about how the different foods affect you and it's about the quality of the calorie, not the quantity of the calorie. Mm-hmm. So I think nutrient dense is a really nice phrase and a, and a good image for me at least. Mm-hmm. You know, nutrient dense just means it's, it's high in nutrients, low in calories. Yeah. That's it. The nutrient to calorie ratio is more like one to one than, mm-hmm. right? So mm-hmm. it's... That's good. So a variety of colors, you know, it, it's it's difficult to find a variety of colors at certain times of the year. Um, 
and and some of the the vegetables that I like this time of year um, are like purple cabbages. Mm -hmm. I like bell peppers. You know the greens and the reds and the yellows. And so those are sort of the, the, the type of foods that I think about. You know, I'm eating lots of dark leafy greens. Mm -hmm. the, the kale is still pretty good this time of year. Mm -hmm. So, you know, do consider those um, those foods. And if you find yourself eating a lot of whites and browns and yellows, <laughs> you know, start start putting some little bit of green in there. And, mm -hmm. and again, go back to the 1% change. You know, just add something else um, to your diet every day. And gradually, you'll just have a, a huge uh, toolkit of different vegetables and recipes and in ways to prepare 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 food that are really tasty and good for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's a good one. I like that. Number three. Mm -hmm. So number four, learn a stress management and reduction technique. So are you talking about maybe exercise or Tai Chi or Qigong or, you know, I Any guess the those. list goes on the and on and on. The list can go on and on. Meditation, okay. uh, Tai Chi, uh, Qigong, exercise, prayer, mm -hmm. reading. You name it. There's, there's all. There's a wide variety of stress management mm -hmm. and uh, and reduction techniques. You know, one out of my there. one of my favorite stress management techniques is to actually visit Pat Dykes. She's a <laughs> reflexologist here in the clinic, <laughs> and to see her mm -hmm. for an hour, hour and a half is so relaxing. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I've just I've kind of shrugged off the whole world. I've, I'm no longer you know, holding the mm -hmm. weight of anything. I come out of there a lot lighter. I feel a lot more clear. Mm -hmm. um, my system just feels more balanced. I, I actually feel like I can feel more of myself and how I move through the world and move across the floor, You're just mm -hmm. walking. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, that's a, that's a really nice way to relax. Um, I think hiking is a great way to relax. I think getting out into nature and smelling um, the wet soil or, or, or the, the leaves or the rain and, and yes. sort of bathing and, and doing some nature bathing. And I think um, Bob Gertz would appreciate this, but going out into the forest and, and doing some nature bathing is, um, mm -hmm. is super good. At least for me, I know that, again, um, going out in nature just sort of resets me. Yeah. I feel so much better. I think a lot of people are suffering from nature uh, deprivation. Deprivation, absolutely. I really do believe that. And I think, uh, you know, we know scientifically speaking that listening to the sounds of nature for two hours a day will reduce cortisol levels, which is our stress hormone, our chronic long-term stress hormone. Mm -hmm. So just the sounds of nature. Hey, you can even just play one of those... Uh, you know, CDs of the sounds of nature, even <laughs> if you can't get out. Please nature, get outside. But please, for yeah. the love of God, get outside. It's you, it's really good for you. You know, one of the one of the uh, an, old, an old naturopathic um, strategy for reducing stress and improving um, stress hormones in the body uh, is to actually get up in the morning and walk outside barefoot mm -hmm. in the cool grass. Just mm -hmm. get out and do some barefoot walking for. 30 seconds to a minute, even if it's cold outside, mm -hmm. and then go back in and warm up your toesies. Yeah. You know, but to get out there and just put your feet on the ground and connect with the earth, it can do so much for your body. Mm -hmm. and, Absolutely. Yeah, because one, one, we always think of, we sort of, um, we think of our world and we imagine our world and we go through our world, but we go through it with like this mind sense. Like mm -hmm. we're always thinking, mm -hmm. right? But you can get to the body through your body. Exactly. Right? You like can have the somatic to, experience. The somatic experience. You can affect your biochemistry through your body. Yes. You don't have to think about it. You can just do it. Yes. And it's amazing. <laughs> well, we're connected with all of life inherently. Yeah. All we have to do is cultivate that. Yes. It'll take a little time. Wow. Which this leads us. Oh, boy. Right. Perfect. Nice Number segue. five. Nice segue there. Yeah. Man. Number right. five is tune in to your senses. Wow. Right? So these are our navigation tools. This is how the external world streams into us, is through our senses. And the more um, aware we become uh, of our sensory experience, the more present we are. Mm -hmm. And so by, by uh, cultivating your senses, you can cultivate presence. And when you cultivate presence, that means you're spending less time in two places that don't exist anymore or at all and that's the future and the past mm -hmm. so if it's you, only now if there's only now right now is the only thing that does exist and our senses allow us to be tuned into uh, what we are experiencing in in that moment, in moment. and so and, I, and that can do a world of good for stress reduction and I really think I do I, I, like 
this next this first month of the life mastery course is all going to be on the sensory system so i've been doing a lot of research on the senses which is a, an area i've been fascinated with for for probably six years now and um but when we tune into our senses they they really work for us mm -hmm. and they help us to be uh to they really help us to navigate life with great um uh, adeptness is what I would say. Mm -hmm. So, tune into your senses. Pay attention to what you're smelling. Pay attention to what you're tasting. Taste your food when you eat it. Don't just eat it, but taste it. Smell it. Enjoy the colors. Mm -hmm. So just always be aware. Have some sensorial awareness, and that will help with cultivating presence, and it'll help reduce stress, and, it, and it's a tremendous healer. It really is. Well said. Well Thank said. You. you know, interesting... Um, little tidbit here I was listening to the radio this weekend and there's a there was there's this gentleman and I believe he's in England he's a he's a veterinarian but he really wanted to see the world through the 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 eyes of an animal right mm -hmm. so like how do animals experience the world and so he spent a lot of time crawling around on his hands and knees and smelling things right yeah. he was the life of a badger I, did you hear I listened that to, I listened to an interview with him yeah, yeah. so it's fascinating yes, yes. You know, you can really experience, um, just take one place in your life. Um, you can experience that one place so differently based upon, you know, what what you tune into, right? Yes. Am I tuning into my, what do I hear right now? Mm -hmm. um, what am I seeing? What am I feeling? Mm -hmm. um, it, it's, what am I feeling inside of my body? Doing mm -hmm. a quick body scan, mm -hmm. um, especially around, around foods and, and different things that you're experiencing. You know, I, I, I dealt with a lot of uh, sciatica and back pain a few years ago, and, and sometimes I would just close my eyes and kind of leave my brain a little bit, but tune into my body and, and sort of, where do I feel the tension in mm -hmm. my body? Like, what am I sensing? Mm -hmm. And that can give you a lot of information, like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm really holding that, that right foot, or, you know, my, my neck's a little tight because I'm holding my shoulders up. Maybe I'm a little stressed. See if I can breathe into my muscles a little bit more and let things relax a little bit. And that really changes the physiology in your body. Absolutely. It'll change the way your, your physiology works and the way your chemistry works and the way your brain is functioning. That's right. And that's why it really, like, as you go down this list, we're, we're really trying to give you things that will help with not just uh, uh, your physicality, but also your mind and your emotions, uh, because it's, it's a big amalgam. They're all working all together. Mashed together. It's all working together, and so these are all tools to address mindset, address emotions, stress, uh, our feeling life, mm -hmm. and then also our physical life. So, mm -hmm. so number six, what do you got for six? Come in for a reboot session with us. Yes, I like that one. Yeah, that's that's probably one of my favorite ones thus far <laughs> or so far. Um, so we offer quite a bit, you know, I, I, um, I mentioned the reflexology here at the clinic. We also have um, Summer Waters, who's a, who's an, a great acupuncturist, um, providing services here at Siskiyou. Mm -hmm. um, we also have Maria LaPuma, La Puma that's doing some work here, um, talking about stress, right? She can help you yep. with that, navigate your life. Um, and so, and we also have Ron, who's doing a lot of um, lifestyle counseling, coaching, um, and nutritional, nutrition consulting. Um, and then we have naturopathic services here. So we're looking and Dr. at Dr. Wyman. We have a chiropractor, and we have Dr. Wyman, chiropractor, and then we have Dr. Casey Feeder who comes in and he does the skin clinic. Yeah, we're trying to take a 360 view yes. of health and focus on um, the foundational pieces that are going to really be able to sustain your wellness throughout the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, we can work on quick fixes, but what we really like to do is is look at a take a 360 view of you, and 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 find those pieces that may not be working so well for you, and see if we can address those, but do so in a way that is sustainable, um, that the way that is most comfortable and achievable for for you to do so yeah, long lasting. We, that's what we want long lasting long lasting change who doesn't want long lasting change right you know you know turn check the check the engine just don't turn the light off you know we want to get <laughs> under the hood and figure out what's going on that's right um and we offer a lot here and i i think that um you know just being a, a place for people to come and, and have a good conversation and and make that that connection with somebody yeah right the human connection absolutely, connection. absolutely. So, 
Come in and get a reboot session, absolutely. Absolutely, and then here's our last one, number seven, following that reboot session, come and get more involved with what's happening here at Siskiyou Vital Medicine. We've got so many classes that we offer. I mean, we have Pilates and Payo, which is like a Pilates yoga combo that mm -hmm. Dr. Wyman does a couple days a week. Mm -hmm. We have um, Maria LaPuma is starting a healing circle. Uh, that's gonna be amazing, because she, in my words, She's a Jedi. This woman is an amazing uh, uh, energy medicine practitioner. Um, so she's gonna be doing a healing circle here. And I'm sorry, I don't remember the dates, but I'll put it up when I post this on, uh, I'll put it up on our Facebook uh, tomorrow. And I'll also put it up with, uh, in, the in the description. In the description, yeah. Yep. And um, then we have the Life Mastery Series, and that's gonna be ongoing every month. It's not just gonna be January, it's gonna be February, March, April, May. So we have that going on. We also have Friday um, afternoons, we have sound baths going That's on. That's right. So. If you have never been to a sound bath, this is an amazing opportunity for you to, what I like to say is decompress from the week and recharge for the weekend. What? That's really what these do. And they're crystal bowls, they're crystal singing bowls, uh, tuned to sometimes the frequency gongs. of the chakras. Yep, yeah. Sometimes a gong. Yeah. Very healing very calming and energizing. So a great way to decompress from the week and get ready for the weekend. And one more thing I wanna say about the, 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 the vibrational, uh, the sound baths. The vibrational frequencies that are coming off of those bowls that are coming off the gongs, those are, like you said, those are tuned into chakras, right? right. But they're affecting our DNA. They're mm -hmm. affecting our, our mitochondria. They're mm -hmm. actually, they, they're nice because they're relaxing and it's a way to decompress but it's also having a deeper healing effect on your body. That's right. And, and probably a deeper healing effect than we really understand at this <laughs> point in time. But I believe that it's actually affecting the very DNA that is, that's, that's enlivening mm -hmm. us and giving us mm -hmm. this life that, that, that we're experiencing. So, you know, I, I think that if, whether you're, you're suffering from just overworked or, uh, you know, some uh, fatigue. fatigue or adrenal fatigue or diabetes or cancer or headaches, you know, come in and experience a sound bath. It's super relaxing. It's it's something that um, that I, I had never ever experienced before, and I walked away just mind open and just mm -hmm. just feeling so alive. Just feeling the vibrations come into your body because mm -hmm. you you can feel the sound. It's why it's called a sound bath. Like you hear the sound, but you also feel the sound. Right. Sort of like your Life Mastery series, right? <laughs> you're going to hear the message and you're going to feel the message. Yeah. 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 Yep. Exactly. So do get more involved with us. We have so much happening and so much more unfolding. I mean, there's uh, starting in February, there's going to be an intuitive painting class. I mean, we, oh we, have, we have so much happening. So please. We love it. Um, so just as a real quick recap, don't believe everything you think, especially about yourself. Make 1% change every day, that's enough. Eat a rainbow of colors, uh, increase your food diversity, learn a stress management technique, yes. um, tune into your senses, it helps cultivate presence. Come in for a reboot session with us or any of our practitioners and get more involved. Come join our classes. And, uh, and, and we hope that this is, uh, uh, that your 2018 starts in a really, um, beautiful and wonderful way yes and I wish you all the very best for 2018 and if you need anything give us a call shoot us an email or come in and talk to us all right guys well, thanks that's so gonna much do it for Wednesday night way to go Ron the way you go Dr. Duncan all right <laughs> see you next Bye. week thanks everybody <laughs>